Hi everyone, welcome to Breakfast with Louis. Today we're gonna do something that I, I don't do every day, but I, I do often enough. When I say often, maybe once a week, once every couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks since I, I've made some. And that's my easy pancake flapjack recipe I, I I've discovered it's it's not my own recipe I I did some research and and I found it so I, I didn't come up with it myself I'm not gonna give myself that credit although I could pretend I did and then all of you like ooh Louis discover the secret pancake recipe I, I did not I did but it's very easy. I I still have store bought pancakes or flapjacks, and I haven't used it since I since I started using uh, this this recipe. And of course, you can use you can use your own little tweaks here and there. So I I, I do my own tweaks. So I don't remember where I got the recipe from. I should have written them down where I got it from. I, I didn't. But I'm going to put it together and and then I'm going to make it. And then I'll show you the end result. Because it would be too long uh, of a video if, if, I try to do, if I try to do everything. And then with the fan running, it would be too noisy. So I got to have the fan really high when I, when I start cooking. And, and that's not, that's not going to be pleasant on your end. To, to hear all that noise. Um, what else was I supposed to say? S Spielberger. Where's my script? I, I don't have a sc I don't have a script, folks. Sorry. This this has to be improvised. No script. It, it's unbelievable. You sure I don't have a sc I don't I don't, have a, I don't have a script, folks. Anyway, okay. So I have no script, but I I, I do have. I have a I have the recipe there. I I remember, but I I always like to look at it just to make sure I I don't miss anything, because sometimes you you miss something, and like one time when my kids were young, I made them a pizza, and and I well not a pizza like the ones I do now, but I I made them. I used to I used to have I used to buy the, these uh, baguettes, you know, like, but they're like this wide, this long, you know, and then I would cut them in half. And and then I would put uh, tomato sauce on top, and then cheese, and and then I would bake it like like a pizza. But one day I forgot the tomato sauce. I think I just put the cheese. That was no tomato sauce. So so you never know, folks. It's two simple simple ingredients, or three with the bread, bread, tomato sauce, and cheese. And I forgot the tomato sauce. Anyway. This recipe calls for two cups of all-purpose all all-purpose flour, and I do two cups more or less. It's you know I just go in there and I I scoop I scoop two cups, and and then calls for three uh, tablespoons of uh, sugar. I use organic cane sugar. And sometimes I don't do the whole three uh, 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 tablespoons. Sometimes I just do two. So today I feel like maybe two and a half, maybe. Okay, so I go for two and a half. You don't have to use, if you, if you don't like a lot of sugar, I mean, it's not a lot of sugar for the amount of flour. But if you don't want any sugar, you don't have to put any sugar. If you want more sugar, you can put more sugar. There's no, there's no limit there. What you can do, I mean, you can, you can put a whole pound of sugar in there. You, you can do equal parts: one pound of flour, one pound of sugar, one pound of water, one pound of water, uh, something like that. Anyway, next ingredient is some uh, baking powder, and I think. Without even looking, I think it's four, four, four teaspoons, four tablespoons, teaspoons, four. Yes, 
I was I was right. I had to look. <laughs> I do it. I, if I did this every day, I would remember it. But I don't do it every day, so so I, I always do like heaping heaping uh, teaspoons. So that's two and three and four. And always check to see if there's any lumps in there. Sometimes it clumps up and you don't want to get a lump of baking baking uh, powder or baking soda when you are eating the pancakes. So I always like to break it up a little bit. It does clump up. Let me just uh, use my fingers real quick here. Feeling all the clumps. The uh, the baking soda is a little bit less. It's only I'm looking. I'm cheating. I know. It costs for about half. I had to pick. I had to take a peek. Okay, so about half. I always go a little bit more than half. Let's call. Let's call one teaspoon half. I'm gonna settle with that. One teaspoon is about half. Okay, so we have the baking powder, the baking soda, and what am I forgetting? I think it's salt. I think, oh, I was doing some cooking outside yesterday and I put the salt over here. That's not salt, it's garlic. Let's not use garlic. Okay, here's the salt. And salt, it's uh, one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. If you like more salt, you can use more salt. If you'd like less salt, use less salt. I don't think it's gonna matter. The salt is for taste and maybe other stuff. I don't know what it, maybe it's gonna react with something else. I don't know, I'm not a, cook in here or a, co a geo geo cooker or cook engineer 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 coco cook I'm not a cooking engineer folks all right so we got this done we got the flour sugar baking powder salt okay so now we put this aside for a second and we're gonna need we're gonna need two eggs folks so I'm gonna dive into my refrigerator and I will be back in a second with two eggs oh and while I'm there also need milk okay two eggs coming up all right two eggs Two nice organic eggs. These are really, really orangey. Some organic eggs are just more like yellowish, but these are very, 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 very orange. I don't know if I could show them to you, but at least one of them is very, 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 very orange. I don't think I can, folks. I don't think it's gonna happen. But trust me, if you've seen if you've seen eggs, you know what they look like. Where's my oh it's over here. So now I'm gonna beat these up a little bit. Now I put in a little bit of olive oil. Actually, it's not a little bit. It calls for calls for a uh, quarter cup of oil. Quarter cup of oil. So I, I just eyeball it, folks. I, I'm not going to get a cup. I'm just going to. You can put you can put other oils. Sometimes I mix it. Sometimes I do part olive oil, part coconut oil, or part 
some other oil but right now I just I just added some some olive oil and and did I spill a little bit I think I might have but it's on my table not on the floor which is important So we mix that up a little bit, and now I'm going to use some vanilla, pure vanilla extract, organic, and I'm just going to, it's, it calls for whatever, I, I just put whatever, I just eyeball it folks, just like, that's it, oh I loved it. Oh, and you know what else I can, I'm going to put in there? The recipe doesn't call for, and I was never one to use nutmeg, but I, but I tried it a little bit in a few things, and you know what? I don't dislike it. So, nutmeg it is. A little bit of nutmeg. I don't always use the nutmeg. Sometimes I don't use nutmeg. Today, I felt like using it. Mixed it up. Without looking. Okay, I know I need, I need the milk. What else do I need? What else am I missing? That's it. It's a, it's a cup and a half of milk. So now I'm going to use the cup, the measuring cup. Cup and a half. Right, that's one and a half. All right, it's so about a half. That's it. Okay. Let's put the milk away. Now we mix this up carefully as not to spill anything. It's a little bit windy outside. What else is new? And now we're going to mix this in. And my, my bowl here is just, just, um, just big enough. Actually, I have an idea. I just realized you can't see. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully, I will not spill this. And... You just mix it in. It's really, really, it's really full, folks. This is just the right size for, for the amount of stuff that I use. So let me, now you do not want to, you do not want to over mix. You just want to fold and incorporate all the ingredients but you don't want to over mix this and then after i'm done mixing it uh not too much like i said you just want to fold it and get everything wet without over mixing i'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and while i let it rest i'm going to clean up a little bit i'm going to get my coffee going i'm going to get my skillet going getting hot and then we're gonna we're gonna cook the uh, the pancakes. So I'll come back in a split second, and you'll see the stuff being done because I don't want to do all everything now because it's gonna take forever if, to have everything done. This has to wait for ten minutes. You don't want me. You don't want to see me sitting here playing chess while I wait. So. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what should I do, Spillburger? Spillburger. Spill! Oh, sorry, he's, he's focused he's focus on his editing over there. Should I just do the finger thing? 
Okay, he says do the finger thing and then he's going to fix the whole thing. So I'll be back in a split second. And that's it folks, just like that, you have beautiful fluffy flapjacks. Look how fluffy these are. And that thing yielded four huge flapjacks. Obviously, I am gonna eat them all. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat them all. I'm gonna have two. And I'm gonna save the other two for, I don't know if Paigey wants some, but if she does, then she can have one and um, and then we'll save the other one for another time. And sometimes I just eat them cold. I put maybe a piece of cheese in there or a piece of something and I eat it just, I use it like a piece of bread. So the only thing that's left in here or to do here is to add some, uh, some maple syrup, organic, of course. I think it's gonna rain. What else is new? I'm gonna to have to buy some more, some more syrup. And that's it, folks. We're gonna have some nice pancakes with a nice cup of coffee. And and that's it. Let's let's see how it tastes though. Alright. They're very fluffy. But let's give it a taste, taste test. Mmm. 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 Folks, I'm going to enjoy these with a nice hot cup of coffee. Watch something on the phone. And that's it. Until next time, folks. Until next breakfast with Louie. Stay tuned, and I'll see you around. Oh, I always forget, it's hot. <laughs>